Welcome to this tutorial. Today we are going to create two different swipe interaction and animated in Adobe XD. A practice project file with all the assets is available. Download it from the link in the description and follow with me in this tutorial. Open Adobe XD. With the artboard tool selected, create a new artboard with iPhone 10 dimensions. I have already prepared the header, drag and drop it from the assets panel. With the rectangle tool selected, create a rectangle of 345 width and 80 height. Make the corners round by 10 pixels and remove the border. Add a drop shadow of opacity 10, distance 0 and blur 5. Select the artboard and change its color to light gray. Select the text tool and add the title and apply the character style from the assets panel. Place it inside the rectangle. Duplicate the text layer by dragging it while holding the Alt key. Rename it and apply the character style. Select the rectangle tool and add a square for checkbox at the right end. Make it 20 pixel width. Remove the fill and add a blue border of size 2. Click and drag using the select tool and group the elements using the shortcut Ctrl G. Now select the group and click on the repeat grid button. Pull down the handle and make some copies of the group. Reduce the spacing between the list by clicking and dragging. Select the repeat grid and click on ungroup grid. Go to the layers panel and all the groups are named identically. For auto animate to work, we have to rename the groups. You can either do it manually or use the plug and rename it. We are going to create two different types of swipe interactions. Use the rectangle tool and draw a square of 80 pixel width. Make the corners round by 10 pixels and remove the border. Give it a red color fill. Press D for the text tool and enter the text, delete. Duplicate these layers. Change the fill color and text. Insert the delete and check icons into the buttons and group them separately. Place the delete box at the right end of the first entry and complete box at the left end of the second entry. Draw three circles of 40 pixel diameter. Apply the colors from the color assets and drag and drop all the icons from the assets panel and group them separately. Move them on top of the third entry in the artboard. Select the delete and complete indicator and resize them to 60 pixels. Now select all the newly created layers and bring them to the back using the shortcut Control shift open square bracket. Select all the objects in the artboard and group them into one group. Duplicate the artboard by dragging on the artboard name while holding the Alt key. Double click on the first group inside the main group and move it towards left. Resize the delete indicator back to 80 pixels and align them. Now duplicate the second artboard and move the first group and delete indicator out of the artboard. Rearrange all the other layers by bringing them to the top.
duplicate the third artboard and repeat the same for the complete indicator. This completes our first interaction. For the second type of swipe interaction, move the group to the right and arrange the three buttons to the right. Duplicate that artboard and move the top elements out of the screen, then rearrange the rest of the list. Now we have completed the design. Head on to the prototype section. Select the first group by double clicking it. Click and drag the blue handle to the second artboard. Set trigger as drag, action to auto animate, and easing to ease out. Do the same for the third and the fifth artboards. Connect the dragged group on the 6th artboard back to 5th with same settings. Click on the name of the 2nd artboard to select it and connect it to the 3rd. Set the trigger to time. Repeat the same for the 4th artboard. Connect the complete switch on the 6th artboard to the 7th, and the set the trigger to tap. Press the desktop preview button to preview the prototype. All the drag elements work great with auto animate. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial and want to see more videos, like and subscribe to my channel.